Kotaku uh, Ta Fanga Nopera Ahau. Um, my name is Dr. Ta Fanga Nopera, and I'm the Health Promotions Coordinator at the University of Waikato. I joined up at the TEU about three years ago um, after I started working at the University of Waikato. I didn't know anything about the union at all, but um, one of the Māori members sought me out because she saw there was a new Māori staff member and encouraged me to join the union. There are a lot of aspects of, of my work that go unrecognised um, but are expected because I'm a Māori person. Um, amongst my Māori colleagues, um, there's a feeling that the work that we do um, isn't appreciated, but actually I think that's because the work that we do is work that we do as Māori people in Aotearoa to help other people um, understand colonial processes, to understand how we got here in Aotearoa and what we need to do to, to feel like we belong. And so um, I think there's kind of a social expectation that um, we fill some of those gaps for the rest of society. And it's a challenge to, to do that work at a university. It's not just a social responsibility. It's um, an intense form of upskilling, um, acknowledging and upholding everyone in this country. And when you know that you're both transforming and, and filling minds um, at a university, you know that the power of that transformation that you can provide can go a really, really long way. The hidden or less discussed expectations upon tertiary education workers today is, is the need for those people um, to be able to offer support and nurturing um, and for them to provide pastoral care in ways that we haven't really considered in tertiary institutions before. Um, we've always thought that education needs to be hard and uh, a psychological challenge. I think we're realising that um, the education needs to be more than that and, um, and it's a hidden part of your role at a university that you will have to provide support for not just your students but also for people in your teams um, and often too the people who work above you. I think the biggest issue that is facing universities right now um, are issues around wellness. Um, not just personal wellness but social wellness, environmental wellness, like wellness in all forms. Um, we live in a world where people are untaught our emotional language and so today we struggle with young people who, who, um, who are highly emotional and that's because we've lost our ways to, um, to be emotionally engaged and to talk from the heart. We're discouraged from doing that. And so, yeah, the gap has been that actually we have institutions filled with people who, um, who don't know how to speak emotionally or don't know how to cope with pastoral care or, or who don't know the things to say um, that break down the structural barriers. Like when you're an academic, you know how to work through a structure. And, um, and a structural approach won't fix a broken heart. And so the biggest challenge that the university faces is um, teaching people how to think logically, but balance that against an emotional scale of, of being.